everyone, Rigella from Her Interactive here. Today I'm going to make some cookies with some secret no context details that relate to the next new game, Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys. This is my gingerbread cookie recipe, pause for the ingredients, and maybe it'll inspire you to share your own Nancy Drew themed cookies for our annual cookie contest. This recipe I think is versatile enough that you could get a delicious chewy cookie, but with a few more minutes or a thinner roll you could have strong dough to build with it. I'm just adding softened butter, molasses, brown sugar, egg, and vanilla. After that, I'm mixing in baking soda, salt, ginger, allspice, cloves, cinnamon, and flour. Once it's come together, I'm dividing it in two and putting it in to chill overnight. I actually always have the worst luck rolling out chilled dough, and room temperature dough always rolls the smoothest for me, so that's what this is. So I thought a lot about what no context details I wanted to show and how to show it, and I decided to make one big circle that divided into parts. I think gingerbread cookies come out the best soft, so I rolled these thick. Here I'm adding white sprinkles first, then I realized it would be a lot easier if I just decorated these on the pan, so I moved them over. I'm putting on four different colors in the form of sprinkles because I absolutely adore sprinkles, and they're my favorite thing to have on anything sweet. I added gold sprinkles next, then black, then red. And I almost didn't add these, they're red hot cinnamon candies, which besides sprinkles is my other favorite thing to add to gingerbread, and I counted them out to seven. I've set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and these bake for eight to 10 minutes. I like a chewy cookie, so I did eight minutes and they came out perfectly. After this, I decided to write Mystery of the Seven Keys on the cookies, so I just whipped up a small bowl of icing, a cup of powdered sugar, and a splash of milk. Then I made a piping bag out of a zip top bag because who needs professional tools, right? The icing spread a little bit, but in the end it set up very nicely and it was still soft enough to eat. These cookies were so soft and so delicious. This big cookie, or four cookies that fit together, only used about a quarter of the dough, so you'll have some left over. I decorated the rest of the dough with my little nieces, and this is how many cookies the rest of the dough made, by the way. They're nothing compared to the incredible Nancy Drew cookie entries we receive every year, but they tasted so good, and that's what matters to me. I hope you enjoyed this no context clue, and maybe someday you'll look back and know what it means. Thanks for watching, happy holidays, happy new year, and follow for more updates on Nancy Drew, Mystery of the Seven Keys.